What up, everybody? Instructor Beats back again today. We are looking at how to use tape diagrams to help us with percents. So let's dive right in. We are going to view percents today as fractions. So we're going to be using our fraction model to help us solve these questions. Um, and we're going to use our background knowledge that percents, decimals, and fractions are all really saying the same thing just a different way to write it, right? And so we're gonna start, if we wanna find 30% of 50, right? We are going to start by drawing our fraction model here. And we know the total of the fraction model, right, is 50 right here, okay? Typically I would do this in my head, but I know 30% is really 30 per 100, right? And I'm gonna be simplifying that to 3 tenths. So really, when I'm saying 30% of 50, I'm really also saying 3 tenths of 50, which means we are going to split this as equally as possible into 10 equal groups, because that's my denominator. And this is always kind of tricky, especially when you're doing it on a video, right? Because we want fractions to be equal pieces. And so let's see if I can do this one now. Here we go. It's a lot harder when you're doing it on uh, camera. So let's uh, count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And I'm going to fix this a little bit because that's not really equal. All right, just like magic fixed, right? And so just like I was finding a fraction of a whole, um, finding a percent of a whole or a group is the same type of thing. So I have 50 and I have 10 equal pieces. So I need to think to myself, okay, if I divided 50 into my 10 equal pieces, how much would be in each piece? Obviously, the answer for that would be five, right? And so I know that there are going to be five in each group. Okay, so I'm going to put five in each group just like I would. And I'm not really trying to figure out how many is in one tenth, right? I'm trying to figure out how many is in three tenths, which is the same thing as saying 30%. And so I'm talking about, okay, how many is in three tenths or 30%? This is where my question mark would go. And obviously when I count that up and I can, I can see that that's 15. So 30% of 15, I'm sorry, 30% of 50 equals 15. This is a visual way to see what you're doing. There are um, obviously shortcuts. Okay. And part of one of those would be instead of turning it into a fraction, you're actually turning it into a decimal. So I know 30%, right? Would be 30 hundredths. So I could do 30 hundredths here and I want to find 30 hundredths of 50, which really means you're multiplying. Okay, and so I could multiply this times 50 here. I'm gonna count my decimal places over here, right? Get rid of my decimal, zero, zero, cross out, add your zero, zero, 15. And I know that I need two decimal places, so I'm gonna move it back over, one, two, and my answer would be 15, right? So you can do it using a shortcut, but today we're focusing on visually seeing what is happening. So let's take a look at one more. So again, here we have 25% of 40. Now, again, I'm going to use my fraction model because I'm going to choose to view percentages as fractions for this. I know the total of this is 40. And so now, okay, I know I'm doing 25 per cent or per 100, okay, which is 2,500. Now, if I simplify that, I, and I'm thinking about quarters here, I can simplify that all the way down to one fourth. So instead of splitting this into 100 pieces, I'm only going to split it into four because each one would be worth 25%. And then you think to yourself, okay, well, I have four equal groups and I have 40 to split that into. How many goes in each group? And obviously the answer would be 10. Okay. And then you just wanted to know 25%, which is equivalent to one fourth. So you really only want to know one of these pieces, right? And so 25% of 40 equals 10. Again, you can do the shortcut or choose to think of your percents as decimals here and do 25 hundredths times 40, right? Count your decimal places, forget them. We have zero, zero, cross out, add your zero, 20, carry your, or regroup your two, eight, we have 10 here, right? When I add that together, that'd be a thousand, but really I got to put my decimal places back in to place values and you see your answer is still 10. So the visual model matches the shortcut, but we want you to be able to understand 
what you're doing today. So hopefully you were able to uh, see a couple examples where you're finding a percent of a whole number and how to do that using a tape diagram or a visual model. And then also maybe get a sneak peek at what a shortcut might be for you. Again, thinking about percents as decimals for your shortcut. So hopefully you liked what you saw. Uh, we invite you to check out our other videos at Instructed Beats Official. Please subscribe and check out our next video using tape diagrams to help solve uh, word problems with percents. You can always follow us at Instagram at Instructed Beats or email us at instructedbeats at gmail.com. Instructed Beats out.